Flame Dragons. I'm Mr. Slano, and this is Flame, and it's Queen Colleen. I hear you might have a report for us, Queen Colleen. We're so excited to learn about it, and we want to welcome you to the News of Camelot. Today's Wednesday, January 10th, 2024, and it's an exciting day. There is a special thing that Queen Colleen wants to share with us. I wonder what it's about, dragons, huh? Ah, before we get going on that, though, let's see what Farhad has to say. Take it away, Farhad. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the pledges for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. You may pass for moon silence. Wonderful job, Farhat. We're so glad you led us in the Pledge of Allegiance and the Moment of Silence. Flame, the sun is going to rise today at 727. It keeps rising at 727. That is interesting. Queen Colleen, the sun is going to set today at 506. How about that? That's three whole minutes later than yesterday. And today, the 10th. What is today, Queen Colleen? We might not all know this. Yes, we are celebrating prudence. Yes, that is true. We are also celebrating... Save the Eagles Day. Ha, <laughs> many of you got that right. Well, Queen Colleen loves eagles, and eagles are a friend of flame, after all. And Save the Eagles Day is important because did you know, dragons, that eagles, maybe, what, 60, 70, 80 years ago, were on the endangered species list, and they have moved their way up to the threatened list, and now they're made it all the way into abundant. They are plenty, there are plenty of eagles that are in the United States and in the world. 60 different species, in fact. And Queen Colleen had this cool little report that she wanted to share with us about Save the Eagles Day. National Save the Eagles Day is for remembering eagles and working to save them from extinction. The bald eagle, the national bird of the United States, was once on the endangered species list being on it from 1967 until 1995, when it was then reclassified as being threatened. It was subsequently removed from that list in 2007 and is now listed in the least concerned category. The work of scientists and good stewards of both public and private land helped to spur the recovery of bald eagles. The banning of DDT helped with the eagles recovery as did the Endangered Species Act, which protected nesting, feeding, and roosting size of the eagles. Good for you, Queen Colleen. That is, that's an excellent report from Queen Colleen. And yes, eagles are at the top of the food chain. They are what are called apex predators. And they must get a lot of compliments from each other because what do they love to eat, Flame? What do they love to eat? Tasty fish. They love their tasty fish. That is... So neat. And bald eagles, they're very strong. They're very thoughtful. They love their families. And they have magnificent eyesight. They can see things from a very, very large distance. So today, on January 10th, on Save the Eagles Day, think about all that has happened in order to plant trees, pollute a little less, and to give eagles the space they need to thrive here on planet Earth. dun 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 it's time for the birthday box. And Flame, as you know, we've been making prudent decisions about our lifestyles. And one of the things we could do is continue on with the birthdays, like we always have, right? The birthday box. If you had a birthday on Save the Eagles Day, your name must be Mark in first grade. Happy birthday to Mark. And Queen Colleen, you're not going to believe this. There are two birthdays today, both people named Miriam. There's a Merriam in first grade who's having a birthday, and there's a Merriam in kindergarten that's having a birthday. How about that? Wow. Happy birthday to those two Merriams. We hope it's awesome, along with Mark. And then here is, yes, let's think of a cool trivia question that deals with eagles, right? Check this out. So how long do you think 
the eagle, the bald eagle, has been the symbol of the United States of America. Hmm, how about that? How long do you think we've used the eagle as a symbol, not only of liberty and freedom, but for anything that involves the United States? Has it been 100 years? Has it been 150 years? Has it been 200 years? Or has it been 241 years? If you had to guess which one of those it would be, what do you think it is, Flame? You guessed it. You guessed it. It is 241 years. Now, that is a long time. That is a really long time. So, on behalf of Flame, and on behalf of Queen Colleen, excellent report, Queen Colleen. I'm Mr. Slano. Enjoy your Save the Eagle Day, Dragons. Make prudent decisions no matter where you go. And we can't wait to see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.